This podcast features adults using adult languages. Language, you've been warned. Okay, Brian, you want to do a recap? After a struggle with DOS, the street gang, destruction of society, we continued our pursuit, the strange symbol, the one that seems like it belongs on the half of the Armethian credit, but the symbol we have found is actually part of a cult of alien beings who seem to enjoy indoctrinating those around us, especially the poor. Who will save the poor, right? Well, the sundowners will, motherfucker. So we decided to go on our crusade following our leader, Father Fingers. We found out a possible hideout and dusted a few bad guys. Yet in the middle of the conversation with some of the freaks, they grabbed Father Fingers and dragged him off into the shadows. We are in pursuit of the monsters. All right. So, as you guys, you guys have have uh, followed these have followed these the monsters. I'm guessing on foot and. By flight, in the case in the case of Siri, um, to an old-looking church, which I will drop you on now. Father fingers, you are still in captivity in your little room up there. It's a nicely furnished. Oh, scallywags! It's a nicely furnished room, rather lovely. He'd be praying and meditating and regaining all his mana. Also, that's a that's a, that's that's going to be a door, not a fireplace. <laughs> I might have mistaken it for a door, and it might be a fireplace, but we're just going to ignore that. <laughs> okay. Hey, Brandon, I have a okay. question for you. When you have a minute. Oh yeah. Uh, what does the ability arcane tongue do? Do you know? It allows you to speak to spirits. Um, oh. Okay. 30% chance, face chance that there are spirits available when you, when you use it. Sometimes you can just converse the spirits that are in the immediate area. Cool. Thank you. So if you have the materials for it, you could actually probably do, pull, pull off a conjuring if you want to. What do you need for that? What materials? Um, Magic circle component. And, uh, You probably need to be unbound. Is he unbound? Yeah, he's unbound. They they're keeping him as sort of like a civil prisoner. <laughs> I remember a uh, prayer guide. <laughs> I got a prayer guide. I can I can say a prayer to you. <laughs> well, I wouldn't be able to summon anything. His uh, twenty fingernails he can use to scratch the circle into the. <laughs> More with. Hmm. Yeah, like chalk and candles, or, or blood and candles, and uh, yeah, I guess any way to really make a circle would be would be okay. I allow it. You have you have blood or whatever you could get on hand to sort of make something. Um, I don't have the conjuring skill though. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, then never mind. <laughs> I purchased the law instead, so he knows that he's being detained illegally. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Wait, roll for it. You might not know that this is illegal. <laughs> I remember we he were. Has rights. We were running along and climbing the top line. Humor me and roll it. I want to see if like you just like crit fa utterly crit fail and just like no, this is fine. <laughs> I love being detained against my will. <laughs> um, let's see here, what would that roll be? He's, uh, I guess he could try and think if he's heard of the organization at all or knows that they're connected to any criminal elements, maybe. I don't know. All right, well, let's cut over to the other three. Robin, D. Hood, Jack, and Basiri, you are out front of this sort of not great looking uh, cathedral. Yeah. What do you, they, there is a crumbled entrance in front of you. What do, would you like to do? Oh, well. Okay, see if it falls over. 
Um, can we do like it real, time. real quiet like? Yeah. I'm down for the real quiet like. Uh, so, consume it if we have to. I'll have my pistol in my hand and be sneaking along the wall uh, towards the entrance, I suppose. Is there any guard posted? There does not appear to be. You cannot see anyone within the near vicinity, though you feel you feel like you're being watched. Well, in that stealth and concealment, and we're still in a city, yeah? Just... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure that I still have city walk. So. City walk is pretty good. Yep, so... But, um, Holy okay. Is everybody healed? Anybody hurt? I don't think so. No. Okay, cool. Okay. And Sean with his absurd sneaking rolls. City walks amazing. What are, the, what are you two going to do? Can I also be sneaky? Yes, you can roll me stealth and conceal. What about Jack? Is he gonna go in guns blazing? As no, usual. I'll be sneaking up. Alright, roll me stealth and concealment. I learned some new tricks on this thing, it's pretty cool. How to roll some exploding guys and stuff stuff on the uh, how you write it all out. Mm -hmm. Explosion. Explosion. Also, Claudia, did you roll me a uh, concealment? Which, which did you roll me? I, I did both at the same time. I don't know which one you want to be which. Um, well, it doesn't really matter because one of them you blatantly botched. <laughs> yep. Alright, so, you guys can roll, you guys can move your way in, and then I will start revealing areas. Okay. And my max hit points thing is wrong. Alright, so you guys you guys make your way into the sort of into this sort of lobby parlor area. There's a door ahead of you and a door to the other side. Door to the left, door straight ahead, door to the right. Yep. Anything uh, laying around in here that could be used as a weapon? Um you don't really see anything. Anything that could be valuable? <laughs> mm. roll, roll, roll me looting. We'll see what you find. Okay. Mr. Sticky Fingers. Mr. Sticky Fingers. Everybody loves him. Mr. Sticky Fingers. Okay. Alright, so you find like this really old, like, edition of the book of the book of light like it's like a religious it's a religious book for the path of light it's a very old edition it could be worth a few uh it could be worth some credits okay i'll move up to that door and or, forward. do you mind um it might help if we read it actually because the people that um aliens or whatever they are have a different belief system because I remember them saying have you seen the light and then Robin was like oh yeah praise the sun and they said oh no the sun is not the light I'm pretty sure that was Father Fingers that said that but yeah no that was you was it? okay mm -hmm. praise the sun yeah you actually said that I'm okay sorry. well but Let's thumb through the book and see if it's any different from what Father Fingers has said. Yep. It's no different. This is, in fact, Father Fingers would probably adore this thing and probably be able to find you a good buyer. Um, but this is definitely what Father Fingers follows. The, the path of light that Father Fingers follows. It's also the it's the Church of Soul. Yeah. Okay, and these people are just crazy. Yeah, the church. They might have been looking at it for research purposes or something. 
I'll put my back up against the uh, my shoulder to the uh, side of the door, the forward most door, and uh, listen. Put my ear against it. You hear some people moving around, and you hear some, a chanting coming from the other side. It's that it's sort of echoey, and it's sort of echoey. The acoustics are a little odd. You think this might be going to the sanctuary of the church? Okay, I'll do some hand signals like I hear something on the other side of the door. So should we look right. at the other doors first, then? Oh, I do have the conjuring skill. Oh. Yeah, I started with it. Yep. <clears throat> um, do we split up, or do we go in one door at the same time? Spinning up is probably a bad idea. <laughs> I'll point to you guys to, like, check out those other doors or listen, listen to them. Okay, well, okay. Can I make a uh, summoning circle of my own blood and try and conjure something? Yes. While they're all sneaking in? Yes, you fucking can. Alright, I have the skill. Let me uh, mm -hmm. scroll for that real quick. Oh, he's doing that. I'm going to listen at this door. I'm also listening. So I got a, uh, an 11. That's pretty good. Um, I believe that just does it, right, Brandon? If I recall the conjuring rules correctly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Um, well, while I'm looking up uh, exactly how to calculate just how much mana you're going to lose to this. <laughs> Could be extreme. Um, I'm going to be nice and not roll for a random spirit. Yeah, that'd be helpful. And just give you the lowest one. Definitely so helpful. So you don't kill yourself just summoning a spirit. It'd be like a D12 times 10 mana drain. <coughs> oh, holy shit. Or you could just do, you know, 10 mana drain. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with the 10 mana drain. Yeah. That sounds reasonable. I only have 50 mana. So, so you feel this, like, this wandering spirit. Like, you actually feel a lot of spirit, of like wandering spirits around here. But they are from all walks, but one comes to you, like, sense, seems to almost sense that you are of the light and comes towards you and hears your, uh, hears your call for help. <laughs> Say, come on over here, little fella. Let me show you a thing or two about the word of the life. <laughs> hey there, little spirit. How do you feel about priests with many hands? Uh. <laughs> do you like priests? Alright, so this will be an Do you like gladiator movies? <laughs> so this will be an essence? Okay. Um, <coughs> essence of, of what is it like? Um, an essence of light. Okay, cool. Is the spirit of the dead. I see I've been killing lots of mofos in here. Okay. Can, uh, can I unlock my chamber? Uh, well, we're gonna see what I can do. Can I go through walls and shit like that and possess people? I, I need to look up what an essence can do. They, they have... I do have rules for them in here. <laughs> cool. Okay, in essence, it has the ability to float. It has 200 HP, toughness of 5. Oh, wow. A defense mod of... I'm gonna say that it's, like, supposed to be 2, because it's plus 4 in here. <coughs> uh, movement of 4, 2 attacks, attack mod of plus 3, and damage mod of plus 5, with unarmed damage of 2d6. So, it's might be able to help you bust out of here. What's the time limit on this thing? Like, after I summon it, how long do I have? Um, we'll say that you found, like, a candlestick or something in here, or, like, some little piece of wood that you were able to carve a totem out of. Uh-oh. Um, and it's going to last for, like, a good few hours. Okay. You got so it's better to, better to break out than wait for somebody to come in. Yeah, you got it for a while. Um, 
Anyway, back to the uh, to the to the other team to the other team. Uh, at the doors, you hear nothing coming from the other sides of the other two doors. Okay, then I'm going to investigate this room. Okay. Brandon, you still there? Yep. Okay. Claudia, do you want to go into your room? Sure. All right. So you find um, some like dusty old books and hymnals in there. Sean, you find a few. You find a few valuables in here. It almost looks like uh, the valuables of any of a lot of people. Like a lot of people just sort of dropped all their stuff in here. Also, where's all that background noise coming from? Hmm. I don't know if I can hear it too. Let me, let me do this. There we go. Oh. Yep. I'm gonna need you to explain a little bit more about them valuables. There's like a bunch of like watches, there's jewelry, there's all sorts of stuff in here. There's a few wallets with uh, some creds in them and uh, creds, cred cards. Um, well, yoink. It seems like everyone just threw all their stuff in here. Yeah. And now I'm throwing it all in my pocket. <laughs> we'll give you... Um... You get, oh wow, you got lucky. 5,000 creds worth of stuff cool. in here. All right, Claudia, in your room, you find something a little weird. It's a lot of magical spell books. Um, and you also find some magical circle components, about th four circles worth, as well cool. as a bunch of uh, crystals that you recognize it from conjuring uh, rituals that are used to uh, reduce mana drain. Okay. Can I take a take? Sure. You want to flip through any of the books? Um, sure. Alright. Um, tell me, what like sort of academic skills do you have, or like magical knowledge skills do you have? Magical knowledge Um... Sorcery, alchemy, conjuring, and tell me if I'm wrong, thaumaturgy? Thaumaturgy? Uh, roll me thaumaturgy. <coughs> uh, oh no. It looks like a magical book. <laughs> It's a magical book. Okay, you de you detect from this book, you're like picking up that this isn't your normal conjuring ritual. Like these books aren't talking about like your normal conjuring ritual. A lot of them seem to be like something else, something much bigger, but you're not quite sure what it is. Bad grammar on the book then. <laughs> it's totally the book. Totally, yeah. it's totally not me not being able to comprehend what's going on here. <laughs> um, and you know, we'll also give you a. You also find a spell book in this. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let me describe what spell you need. You're a rope. You're a. Uh, a uh, what's it called? You're the second ring. You're an advocate, right? Excuse me? Level three to yes. level five is advocate. Yeah. Okay. You get. So you get. You get a, spe a spell book of Levitate, which is green magic, and you can use that to learn the spell Levitate over the course of uh, your the time it takes for you to learn a spell. Actually, you know what? No. Make that, uh, change that to, um, Mask. It is a... It is a gray magic spell. Gray. Okay. So. You guys done here? Yep. 
All right, we're going to cut back to Father Fingers. Let me see. Let me see if I can find you a little thing to represent your essence here. Actually, let me let me get let me get a picture here. I got my '80s playlist going. It is. This is this is what this is what Father Fingers is listening to as he's working on breaking out of jail. It's a montage. Nah, I think uh, he'd be playing 99 Red Left Balloons, definitely. Maybe Eye of the Tiger. Is that that German female singer? Yeah, Nina. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a terrible cover of that song. Anyway. <laughs> you can get Eye of the Tiger in here. I wish I had as much money as my character does. <laughs> Don't we all? Mm -hmm. Dancing spellbook. <laughs> I can't hear anything. Never mind. Whatever. Okay, so. You know what? God, God damn it. Okay. I was gonna I was gonna be funny and get Navi from Ocarina of Time for <laughs> your essence. And she was just gonna yell hey listen the entire time, but I can't seem to love Google for some reason, so we're just gonna get something else. Here is your essence. There he is. Could you make him could you make him like one of the um what do they call him, the brownies from Willow? <laughs> <laughs> like an argumentative Frenchman. <laughs> You know the brownies? They were like like these six inch tall humans that ran around in the woods. And they always were getting into trouble and getting drunk and high on fairy dust. Oh, movie. Alright, so there's your there's your essence. I will put him under your control. Cool. <laughs> he says, Hey, listen. <laughs> And I'll just listen here, little fella. <laughs> hey. I need you to go through that keyhole over there and break hey. down the door. Hey, listen. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> hey, listen. No, you listen to me. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. <laughs> I have this stick of conjuring here, and I'll beat you over the head with it if you don't pay attention. No, listen. No. No. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, Robin, Jack, and Vasiri, what do you guys want to do? Go. Well, well, not much we can do besides, you know, sneak through the door. Okay. Roll me conjuring and stealth checks, everybody. Conjuring. I think you mean concealment. Yes. Yeah. Stealth and conce concealment. My bad. All right, Claudia actually rolling well this time. Finally. Uh oh. Nope. Uh -oh. All right, you step into the sanctuary. You have not been noticed yet. <clears throat> wow. How did that even happen? You rolled two ones. So I mean, you trip over a torch or something. <laughs> Triple verse guns. Alright, Jack, I need you I need your stealth and see how it goes. 
This is the sight that greets your eyes. Alright, somehow they haven't noticed you guys yet. <coughs> yet. I still need one more roll from Jack. Yep. They somehow haven't noticed you guys yet. I don't know how. But they're all sitting Magic. in they're all sitting in pews, chanting in like a mysterious like... tongue that you don't recognize. Is that like a biker guy? Sitting in the pew? Yes. Yeah. With a handlebar mustache? Yeah. Sometimes you just need a big ha big handlebar mustache to help you ride your motorcycle so you can hang on to the handlebar. That was a terrible joke. This is the best of jokes. It was the worst of jokes. It was the joke that we needed, but not the one we deserved. <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah, Michael Jackson. All right. the The essence is going to attack the door while you guys are figuring out what you want to do. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thirteen damage. He swipes at the door. He's like, <laughs> well, "That's my boy." He does uh, 18 damage there, and you hear um, from the other side of the door, someone pound on the door and say, Hey! Quiet in there! He didn't break it down yet? He didn't break it down yet. Oh, that little bastard. The one door has quite a bit of uh, health, if I recall correctly. <laughs> Healthy door. Bran, do you happen to re recall what the sort of uh, structural hit points for a wooden door is? Go for hinges. Always hinges. Or where it might be. Ted, this is a beat up church anyway. Yeah. Can yeah. Father Fingers yeah. yell back through the door and try and get the guy to open it? Say what? Can Father Fingers yell back through the door and try and get the guy to open it from the outside? Sure, sure you can try. What would I roll for that? Um, he's, he's gonna say, yeah, I'm having a problem in here. I may need some assistance. Uh, fast talk. Um, he doesn't just have that. Straight charisma, it's, then. Just negotiation or um, charisma? Straight charisma. Uh, I've been talking this whole time. You guys couldn't hear me. From uh, sure. from from 20 to 50, uh, I would say structural hit points. Okay. Yeah, up, up to you how, how strong the door is, maybe, but from 20 to 50, probably. Charisma is 12, so that means I would roll a d8. Okay. Alright, so Brandon, Sean, Claudia, what do you guys want to do? You rolled a six trying to get the guy to open the door. Right, well, I, was probably... thinking, I was thinking, uh, if you guys are cool with it, uh, we let the thief sneak up right behind somebody, because you got yeah. knives, right? Yep, I can shank him. And then uh, I'll open fire at the same time and possibly all get our sneak attacks, and maybe, Claudia, you can open, what, what kind of weapon do you have? I've got a war staff. <laughs> oh. She's got magic. <laughs> She's a rage. Oh, yeah. Page. Yeah. We could um, all open fire, at least get ambush on, or at least finish it before them. So the guy outside your door, Father Fingers, is just like, What? A problem? Uh, hmm, wait, wait, wait. What kind of problem is it? Hmm? <laughs> this, uh, uh... It's an abdominal emergency, my good man. Uh, right, the bucket's full, and I need another. Unless the serving boy wants to spend a couple extra hours cleaning the stones, uh, you might want to get somebody else in here. All right, roll me another another fast talk check. Oh god! Well, he crit failed, so he's so he's like, you filthy humans! Oh God! Watch your step right oh, when you walk oh, in. Oh God! Ugh. Guess fine. We'll let you. I'll let you out. Just to take care of your disgusting human bodily functions. Ugh! And he opens the door and takes a step in. Sick him, essence. Can <laughs> get him, boy. <laughs> hey, listen. Alright, uh, we'll come back to the other team. 
Um, so y'all are gonna sneak open fire and I'm gonna ask it orb. Yeah, let let Sean sneak up and we can open fire from here, I guess. Okay, Any reference like on which one I should take? Probably the girl. Okay. Sneak. That's, that's just an idea, but yeah. Alright, uh, roll me a stealth and concealment. If you uh, if you write an exclamation point at the end of your number, at the end of every number, um, it'll explode. Okay. And your macro is there. So you have to type it out. It doesn't work in the advanced scroll option. When you have like a D8 oh, plus okay. a D6. Yep, they, they don't notice okay. you at all. No, they don't. You can write like backslash. Here, I'll write it here, so we can all see. Okay, so you guys can attack. I don't think they get a defense roll for this. Okay, so hey, you guys ready for me to shank? And according to first edition rules, you guys get uh, double damage, I believe. Uh, we won't from shooting, but um. Uh, our, our shooting hits will be like armor defeating, but he can get double damage from a sneak attack. Oh. Right? Oh, okay. We'll just, so, so that's how that we'll works. Just, right. We'll just be armor defeating. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, so that's how that works. Okay. Yeah, so you go ahead. Make your attack. Make your damage rolls. Yes, we'll let, we'll let you go first. So, just damage roll or at each roll to hit? Well, roll the hit just to see if you crit. You could do a rage sneak attack for times four. You could do that. That would probably drop them. We have to hit over a five to even hit them from, with our sneak attack. Okay. She won't get a chance to dodge you. You just roll. You get nothing. <laughs> what does that rage attack require? Two actions. Okay. Well, I have two actions, so let's do that. Yep. Ready to check, Shank. So, rolling the hit. Yep. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing that's it. That'd be a hit, and then the damage returns four for a rage okay. attack sneak. Okay, did twenty eight. Twenty eight total. Yeah. Nice. He falls over, and I believe that also induces trauma. So. Um, uh, Brandon, would you mind pulling up the trauma table for me and let me roll that? Uh, what page is that on? Yes, I, um, it'd be in the combat section. I don't have it here right now, but I'll, I'm pulling up on my computer. Yep. Never mind, I found it. Okay. So, 1d6 for location. You hit him in the left leg. No. Pull her in the left leg, and you do. And she takes. Loss of leg at knee. <laughs> so, you Ow. Just, so you just. You just get up, on, you just sneak up on her, and you're like. Ch <laughs> Give me a snappy one-liner. That's a poor fight. Give me a snappy one-liner for cu cutting a, leg or a chick's leg off. Y'all got some poor to fight. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it sounds weirdly fetishistic. <laughs> I love your feet. <laughs> uh, so you cut her, like, you just swing at her and slice her leg off because you're just sort of crouching and 
belly crawling, and then he just slices her leg off. Um, Vasiri and Jack, you get your attacks now. May I do acid orb? Yes, you may. Who are you shooting at? I the dude to that 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 guy. That that, that, that guy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Shoot him. Go ahead. Bye. Um, so it's a D six times the level with this three. I don't know how to type that. So just you kind of looks like Jamie Foxx. You do six damage. Yeah. Alright, six damage. I put it all to damage his armor. You gotta roll to cast? Did you roll to cast already? Oh, what? 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 Right, what? You gotta roll d20 to cast. It. D20. Yeah. It'll have to be over a five to hit him. Cool. Yeah, you're fine. Alright, okay. you're up. And I will fire. So she won't be able to dodge my single, my first shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you have another action for you. Can I do it again? Yeah, sure. Do I do the D20 again? Yep, and he, but now yep. he has a chance to dodge. You. And he doesn't. So roll that damage. Oh. Oh. What is this? Three damage. This is the... My turn. I will fire at uh, this one. Yep, yeah, go for it. And my first shot hits, and the damage shall be forty-six. Fourteen damage. Well shot. And then I will fire one more shot. Okay. She probably got cover in the fuse, huh? You're right. Um, so you miss. You miss anyway. Okay. Alright. So, um, everybody roll initiative. Also, getting back to Father Fingers, so he's not left out entirely. Um, your essence takes a sw I'll say gets sneak attack on her because he, she just like opens the door and gets a face full of essence. No. Oh, Claudia exploded, so. Yeah, do I go roll again? Yep. <coughs> yep. Father Fingers, um, he won't give, uh, the guard time to recover. He'll attack at the same time as well. So your essence does 22 damage, and your turn. Oh, All right, he's gonna run up and um. Yeah, I need that thing. He's going to um try and get her in a um some kind of uh forearmed uh you know Beat arm down. bar or something, and um uh, like restrain her. Yeah, he's gonna try and like you know hold her arms behind her back and like. Just kind of knock her out, okay. tie her up. Okay. So the bad guys are going to go now, and then we're all going after them. So this is um. So I guess I do a strength check, or what would I do to try and like? <clears throat> I don't know the rules for grapple very well because it doesn't have very much. All right, then he'll probably try and assume they're what, main. What's up, you doing? Are you trying to grab him? Yeah, I was thinking about grappling uh, and uh, trying to restrain her while the essence ties her up. Cool. So the first That's attack possible. would be a uh, unarmed attack. Okay. So just uh, do twenty. And she'd have to dodge. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think you actually win, unless if you got a plus to any of that. Oh. Um. I don't know, unarmed attack, uh, I have, yeah, unarmed combat plus one. Yeah, okay, cool. And then I'll be able to do strength check. Alright, strength is ten. <laughs> uh, so that would be... 2d6. I guess, that's what it says. No, just d6. Yeah, d6. 1d6. 
D6. By the power of Saul. No. She breaks out of the grapple. Alright, and he's just gonna try and rage her and punch her in the face. Bumblebee. Aren't you friendly rage punch? Or do you have extra? Yeah, have extra. I have three unarmed actions because of the arm. Cool. So, so then cool. this would be. I could burn frenzy. Um, one frenzy for a rage. Yeah. No, no, because I have two actions still left over. The strength, the strength thing took an action. Oh, took an action. Okay, yeah. So I'll do. I'll burn a frenzy. Um, plus one. Oh uh, yeah. Oh fuck. Oh. Uh. To the fumble chart. Wow, she was right there. I don't know. I got you. She's like guards. As long as he doesn't punch himself in the jaw and knock himself out. What was the fumble result? I'm checking right now. That's funny. Three. Uh, you trip, slip, and fall to the ground. You're like, oh, 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 no. You like mm. you like you like charge at her, but then you slip on an inconveniently placed banana peel. Yep. And he's <laughs> <laughs> like, right, "Oh, father fingers." I'll burn my last frenzy and try and like you know, trip her while I'm on the ground still. Sweep kicks. Do an ankle sweep, yeah. Sweep kicks. Like break dance it, yeah. Aww. So uh, you'll burn my other frenzy. Would that be minus anything since I'm on the ground? No. Minus one uh, to dodge when you get when you're on the ground. So would it still be plus one for unarmed combat? Yes. Cool. Oh god. Yep, you hit her. Cool. Sweet kick. How much did I see your spirit did again? Uh, it was twenty. Twenty something. Twenty-two. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Do I roll damage for that? Yeah, roll Attack. damage. Unarmed damage. Um, he was like, well, is that on strength? Ground. That was a sweep, so it knocked you to the ground, right? Yeah. So, so, um, so I just roll it on strength. What would be my damage roll? Uh, or no, unarmed armed damage. Yeah, unarmed attack. Unarmed D6. Damage okay. D6, yeah, that's not great. <laughs> Four plus strength. Uh, and then so I, have, uh, I have 10 strength, so I don't think I get a modifier for that. So you're yeah. just like, haha, this was my plan all along. Grab her ankles and then just throw her to the ground. Yeah, pretty much. Alright. I'll give her, you know, well, well, hello there, young lady. <laughs> oh my. Wink at her. Wink <laughs> <laughs> me, the nudge. Alright, Claudia, you're up first. Um, can I try what I did the first episode? Fly over and me and Groin. And this time actually work. If you want to do unarmed damage, okay. What is mad? <laughs> style is more important than numbers. It's all about style. You're flying over and me in the nuts? Hell yeah. Please. So, did I roll for flying? Uh, no, yes. You, should, you will need to roll for flying since it's a combat situation. So just roll dex check. But yeah, you'll become a lot more effective once you buy a few more spells. <laughs> Alright, you're fine. So you can fly over. You're fine, yes. Holy shit. Yes. <laughs> you have, you have not come off. You. <laughs> Don't you haven't seen that it. Mortal Kombat gif? Mortal Kombat 10 move. Punch somebody in the nuts. Wait, is D8 your damage? It an x ray of the balls just exploding. Wait, is uh, D8 your damage? Yeah, that was the unarmed combat. Then you gotta roll D8 again. <laughs> oh. Alright, so that's so 21 damage, but you first need to actually see if it hits. Uh, like what? Uh, D20. Plus on that combat. Let's go. Uh, zero. Yeah, so you just roll d20. I think it hits. I yeah. think it hits. This is, this is what it does. Yay. No way. So it was the, fir 
it was the first D8 uh, your mm -hmm. dex check? No, that was, yes, you okay. are correct. So you do 21 damage to his balls. I'm pretty sure, I think he's dead now. Oh. I, I think you might have just kneed him, his balls into his face. If you go to that video, skip to um, about seven seconds, and then uh, that's pretty much what she did. Okay, okay, I, I gotta do this. But then how do I get the noise on it? Um, there's a volume button on YouTube. You can uh, drag the slider all the way to the left to get it. Oh, is this Johnny Cage punching someone in the balls? Captain yeah, it's Cage. like, yeah, it's Ooh. the new Mortal Kombat. Okay. <laughs> And it shows an x-ray move where the balls just explode. Yep. <gasps> oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that did not look... Oh my god. Ow. That was amazing. <laughs> that was yeah. amazing. Yeah, you can't watch that just once, you know. Oh. So, that was really painful. He is dead. Because after your after your acid damage and your the combination of your acid damage and your kneeing him in the groin just drops him. Right. You have another action. Um well I have thirty mana left. And you also have battle chain. Oh. Do, do oh, hello. You? Oh, hello. you have battle chain, right? A yeah. I, would yes, I, highly, I would highly recommend doing that, using that because that restores mana. You do I do roll. something before I do that? What? Do I roll something before I roll for battle chance? Nope, you just rolled the battle chance skill. Okay. Well, uh, and you restore that much uh, mana at the beginning of next round. Oh yeah, I forgot I could battle chance. I don't. I forgot well, how to uh, roll them together. Uh, you just write D eight plus. Uh, one what like one d8 plus one d6. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. So you get ten back. Okay. Take 10 so back. got forty. All right. Who's up next? Because they're acting on a three. I'm acting on a four, so I'm no, guessing yeah. <coughs> Looks like I got Jack. eight. Jack's up. Yep. I got eight. Uh, I don't know. I will move to right there. And I will fire two shots at her. And bang to frenzy and fire two shots at him. Okay, go for it. If you push the up arrow, it uh, types up the same thing you just rolled before that. Shot. You missed the second shot. Okay, and then the two frenzy will be fired at the other guy. Bang bang. Pew pew. You hit the second, you hit that shot, you hit both shots. Last two shots hit? Yep. All right. So you're just pump filling this guy full of lead. Oh, that's an explosion. Oh, that's a that's nice. a lot of damage. Nineteen on the first one. This is both to that same guy, right? Yeah, I don't think that guy's getting up. 31 damage total to the He's fucking dead. Yay! And then another one down, and another one down, and another one bites the dust. Yeah, yeah. Sing it, Freddy. Right. Okay. Who's <coughs> after that? 
Okay. Alright, well, who's up next? That would be I am. Robin. Yep. I'm janking. Getting some bow music in here. Alright. Oh. And there's a plus one on that, I just forgot to type it. It's still. Meh. You getting our attack? Yep. So the asterisk is the times, uh, times button, times four, you can do yeah. times two, times four. You hit! That'll do. That'll be big. Yeah, knives don't do very much damage. Like at all. <laughs> What'd you do? Uh... Did you rage attack him? Uh, no. Nope. Regular attack. So, did six more damage. Was that your first attack? Say again? Was that your first attack? Second. First one missed. You can burn two Frenzy and Rager. I only have three Frenzy total. Uh, so, I'm not going to waste it on mooks. <laughs> True. You know that something worse is going to pop up. Right. Yeah, that glowy chick that was immune to Father Finger's charms. It, and it, it, either way, it, she's taking a total of it, 34 damage at this point. So. Which one? Oh, okay. This lady? Yeah, she's dead. Yeah. yeah she's dead. Oh, cool. Awesome. And it, right, that's my left. turn done. Okay. Back to now. It's time for the mooks. This lady is going to come over. And she's going to take a swing at you. So I wish I had taunt. I did not. Okay, so swinging at me. Okay, good luck hitting me. Yep, you but it. I go to Defender. Yep. Alright, roll your perception check while you're at it. Um. And dodge again. Dodge! Oh! No! Oh no! Okay. She falls to the ground and loses one action. Womp womp. Mm -hmm. All right, your turn. Uh, back to Claudia. Um. Kill Claudia. Kill. Kill everything. Kill everything, Claudia. Would it be Brother Finger's turn if this all happening at the same time? Um, I'd like to resolve like this. this is all one this, combat. This is all happening at the same time, but I'd like to resolve this before we. Oh, uh, this one room. Okay. Yeah. Cool. We're, we're gonna resolve it over that side to uh, keep it from being too crazy. I have dealt with splitting groups before. <laughs> I have learned from much trial and error on how to do this properly. Can I do energy here? Yes, you can. You're gonna so need that... to roll me a d20, though. Yes. Okay. That. The fuck is Okay. You don't roll a d20 again, but you got... Oh, but I wanted to. No, you double your damage, though. Uh, oh. Yeah, 20. Okay. Critical. So, so that's a d6 times 6. I got this. So d6 times 6 is essentially what you're doing. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. You'd have the... Uh, Dash R thing first. Dash R, yeah. That was weird. Uh, I thought uh, she had black, black lipstick on all of a sudden. I was like, what the hell? She just said lipstick on? 
and an Oreo. Oh. Oreo cookies. That'll do it. Holy shit, yeah. You just like, you're just like hurled yes. a crackling energy sphere, full of pure plasma at her. And it just tears straight through her guts. And she's like, it's just like this hole just in her guts. And she's like, no, I, I can still be horrible. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Fair enough. The one liner, you gotta say Arnold one liners, you know. <laughs> Alright, let's cut back to the bottom. I can see that through you. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> What's that? Hold on. Let me roll that again. Why? Oh god. Okay, never mind. So, basically, so the other guys are going to come in in D4 rounds, in four rounds. We need to X her out. She, she dead. She, right? She, she dead now. Kill her. <laughs> She's dead tired. She, Thank you. Alright, so, this lady called guards. It's your turn now, Brandon. It's your turn now, Adam. Actually, no. My turn? Actually, no, wait, we got to roll initiative. Wait, she called the guards? But I tried to seduce her. I was to, yeah, I tried to seduce just her. Just to pull out. I was trying to like, just like you know, chill her out. I don't want to kill her because no one killed him. That's right. That's right. This entire world has a weird foot fetish. What? First, no, it's not as. He just it, doesn't want to kill anyone. First, yeah, it was, first it was Sean cutting off people's legs and then admiring their. And it was Father Fingers grabbing people by the ankle and then trying to seduce them. Well, I guess we just don't have a leg to stand on. Oh, god damn. Yeah. <laughs> That's what your one liner should have been. I guess you don't have a leg to stand on. <laughs> yeah, I thought about it. I thought that went up about 10 minutes after yeah. that happened. Oh, don't be frightened. All I want is your keychain. It's his charisma roll. <laughs> I swear, all I wanted was the keychain. Yeah. <clears throat> God! Shit. <laughs> can't, what is his spirit doing? Can't it kill her or like silence yeah, her or something? Can, Possess can, her? It's going to be, uh, so they're acting on a five. What's your initiative? Oh, um, let's see, it's 1d10, right? Roll an initiative for you and for the thing, add two to the spirit's, uh, uh, modifier. Initiative roll is d10 or d12? d10. Which one? d10, okay, so. Um, and what's the, uh, modifier for the, uh, spirit? That was mine. The spirit's plus two, right? That's the uh, the essence. The essence gets ten, and I get seven. <clears throat> okay, so it's going first, clearly. So it's going to att attack the lady. That plus five bonus of ridiculousness. Holy shit, it gets plus five to all its attacks. It's beefy. And it hits. Or that might just be to the damage. I might be wrong. I think it might have been plus four or something. Still, still hits. And it murders her. <laughs> it finishes her off. Yours. Uh, you're up, I believe. <clears throat> Alright, he will get up. And it's got he one more action. Actually, it's got one more action, so it's going to just fly out. And it's going to go, Hey, listen! And then you hear it doing things outside. So Alright, well, Father Fingers will, um... He'll uh, take the keys. What? It, he'll search her body. Okay. Say a little prayer for her. You don't want to kill her. Uh, the spirit's kind of uh, psychotic, apparently. <laughs> and, um, hey, listen! Does she have any keys on her or weapons on her? Nope, but the door's open. Okay. 
So she was able to open the door, or just like a lock oh, actually, on the yeah, outside. She has, she, you're right. She has keys on. All right. Well, he'll take those keys and then follow the um, spirit out there, and um, I guess start looking for his weapons, and gear, or whatever. Um, well, as and you, I'll do a, As you come outside, you <coughs> see that you have actually run onto the spirit. Oh well, he'll. Uh, I mean, he'll be stealthing too, like being sneaky, trying to get out there. I, I can't see. It's all black. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. So, do I have um, any it's action, or what's um, this? Do we like? It's yeah. You ha you have an you have. We'll say that you have both your actions. Go for it. Okay, all three. Did I do wait? Actually, two. So we'll give you two. All right. Um, so there are two people there. Are there? They look clearly armed. There's a sheriff. Prisoners oh. escaping. Uh, it's gonna say, "Oh no, this is just uh, this is all a misunderstanding," and then he's gonna rage attack him in the face. He's got some sort of like baton. Twenty. All right, this is to rage attack Sheriff Joe. Highway Patrol. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. I should have cast hard flesh on myself. So what did you do? You made an attack? Yeah. He's trying to attack. He missed. Nope, you missed. All right. So I'm going to burn two frenzy and, um, and try and... Or I'm going to burn one frenzy and attempt to uh, grapple the weapon out of his hand. So this is, I roll a d20 to try and grab it, right? Is that how it works? God damn it. <laughs> okay. You never know, you might break it all. No. No. All right, I'll just burn my last frenzy and then try and kick him in the nuts. Cold shot. <laughs> um, we'll make that times two damage. <laughs> Everybody's attacking people's nuts. <laughs> yeah, it's, Everybody's you know, attacking it's, people's nuts, uh, man. Actually, he'll, go, he'll, he'll, he'll actually go for his kneecap. Um, called shut to the kneecap. So what's that? What would that be? Minus? We'll make that minus two. One. Called shot. Minus three. Oh, minus three. Minus three. three. Called shot to the kneecap. Just kick it out. Damn, he should have nope. paid attention in karate. Yeah, he dodges out of the way. Alright, now they're going to attack. He's going to attack with his baton. <coughs> Twice. Mm -hmm. So he's going to try. Hits, and... Try another one. Beating me with a baton. I should have. I should have cast hard flesh upon myself what's before. The, what's, the, what's the damage on club, Brandon? E twelve. Oh jeez. Oh no. Oh jeez. You take twenty-two damage, and yeah. then. Oh god. Can you try and persuade them against like giving him a beating? I mean, just, you take a total. Once they see the dead person in the, in you the take room, a total it's of, kind of done. Uh, Thirty-eight damage. Oh my god! Just from one person. All right. Um, let's see. I have ice resistance. Does that give me any resistance for his stone cold brutality? Uh, um, no. <laughs> I don't think I have any regular. Oh, you have one toughness. So that I got. I can. So remove two from that damage. I can grit through uh, one. All right. So the total of what? What was the damage again? To my hit points. Twenty-two or something. Like uh, uh, no, thirty-eight. Uh, thirty-eight minus two, so thirty-six. Yeah. yeah. 
All right, I have 62 hit points. So what? Do we hear this going on in the so other? So you're knocked down, and then the other lady is going to attack. The Hang spirit. on. So I have how many left? That's 62 minus 36. It's gonna be. Oh no! Oh shit! Hang on. Oh shit! Yep. I'm trying to do this. She definitely the first time. 26 hit points left. Oh, it's good you got that spirit with you, though. Yeah. So she hits the first time. Okay. And the second time, she does not hit. Oh, it's got like 200 hit points. All right, she hits the first time and the, the second time. Never mind. She and she crit the first time, so this is gonna get ugly. I feel like I should get my hairbrush out and start brushing my hair. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's just everyone's brushing their both hair. Of you guys. Why is this a thing? I'm so it takes 20, I haven't takes... braided my mane in quite a while. <laughs> Simple. Um, it's getting luffy. I've, I've left fluffy and long. I've never had my hair. braiding my mane. Simba, you must always remember to brush your mane and braid John, it. you're not cutting your hair. <laughs> So what happened? Is was the spirit getting beat on too, or what? Mm. Uh, mm. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm really bringing the fucking. All right, so <laughs> the spirit takes twenty-four damage plus uh, eleven more is thirty-five total damage, but it has a rather high toughness, if I recall correctly. Yeah, you can just shrug that off. So he shrugs off quite a lot of that damage. He'll just flex his pecs. He's just, it's just like, bitch, please, I am a spirit. You can't touch this. No, no, it's like, it. hey, listen. It's like, hey, listen. 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 Yes, but like I said, you're going to come in in three more rounds. Oh, okay. Because well, they might fighting. come in. I'm going to loot the room first. You were fighting while this was happening. Uh, it has a toughness of five, so it shrugs off to ten of that damage. <coughs> so of the 35, it only takes 25 damage. It's super fine. All right, back round to the top. It's the spirit's turn. It's going to attack the guy attacking you. It's like, hey, listen. <laughs> Having fun there, Brandon. Wrong, it's plus three. Yeah. <laughs> I have to do something with my hand. It's gonna say, "Get him, buddy." <laughs> I've baby. decided that Father Fingers is going to name every single creature that he conjures Betty. She's gonna call them all Betty. Betty. I should call hey. you Betty. It misses both times. Actually, you know what, Adam? You roll for your spirit. I will take back those two rolls and let you roll for it. It's plus, has, it has a plus, plus three, three modifier. You need to be a All right. 12. That's nice. 20. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so fumble. you missed the first time. It's fumble. Here's fumble. Yeah. Oh. And then fumble. And then you miss again. You missed twice. So I did fumble on this first roll. Oh, you're right. It, um, Got a one. The spirit falls to the ground, but apparently doesn't because it's floating. Oh, okay. It's um, just so the guy. So the guy having dealt with. I'm gonna roll for my um. Oh, wait, you're still not dealt with. So uh, it's your turn. Battle chant D eighty six. This is for my um my last turn. D eighty six battle chant. Oh wow. So, 12. 12. <coughs> Brings me up to max. Your turn. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to use <clears throat> some spells here. I'm going to cast. Um, I'm looking for my spell section here in my character sheet. Um, I have three actions, or do I only have two magical actions? Basically, how does that work with a mutant? You have two magic? To imagine, I have, um, I don't, I don't know how to increase magical actions. Um, yeah, you gotta roll them on the talent, uh, talent. Oh, okay, talent. Yeah, so I start out with two magical actions. Okay, I'm looking at, um, 
how many each spell takes. Um, I'm going to cast... Um, hmm. Heal wounds on myself for two actions. Okay. Cool. I'll go with that one. So it's just a d20, I think, right? Yeah, one more action. So it's a 13. That's to make sure I don't kill myself. And heal wounds is 2d6 times level, I guess. So 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 your magic actions are done. Now you can do an unarmed or whatever action, melee action. Uh, or you can burn two friends and attack with an Ooh. attack spell. Okay, so cool. Get it, uh, 4 plus 6. Oh, snap. Yeah. So I, I have full health again. Cool. Yeah, yeah. And then my drain is, is 10. So I'll take the drain off. 10 drain. Full health. You don't fuck with a priest of the light. Now punch him in the face. Oh. Yeah, he's going to... Uh, I'm going to burn a... Um, I think I used two friends last turn. And I'm going to... Uh, Use my last action and one frenzy to rage attack him. Uh, 20. So I got a 15. Alright. Okay, my unarmed damage is d6. Has anyone hit the policeman yet? Oh, yeah, the spirit hit him once. So he does, he does eight damage to him. Um, and then I'm going to whack him again uh, with a regular burn my last frenzy okay. for this round. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Me attacks back. Free swing me. Dodge. Dodge. Hmm. Uh, that'll be my battle chant. That's the end of my turn, I believe. Alright, back round so to the enemy. Back. So this guy is going to continue beating on you with a nightstick. Frenzy down to four. Oh no! He crit fails that second one. He fall. Wait. Oh. So barely dodge. You, you barely dodge the first one. No, you you hit you get hit by the first one, but you dodge but uh he crit fails the second one. Oh he attacked me three times? No, he attacked you both twice. Oh that's a d six there, oh, okay. So he does six damage the first time, and okay. the second time his weapon goes flying in a scattered direction. I have a toughness of one, so I turn that into five damage. Is that how that works? Left of him, uh, two squares away, so the baton ends up here. Okay, nice. I'll be picking that up next round. All right. Now it's the lady. She's going to attack the spirit with nasty claws. Mm -hmm. Adam, roll a dodge for the spirit. Alright, what is he? 1d20 plus 5. 1d20 plus 2. 2. How many times am I rolling that? Let's see. We got a 9 Twice. and. One more time. A 9 and a 6. Oh, he, she hits the second time. Ooh. She does 8 damage. It's still fine. Um, yeah, it has toughness. Isn't its toughness so high that yeah, it, it doesn't even take damage? No, it's, it takes like three damage. So it's going to attack the, the guy who's been trying to fight you. Cool. So you're, All right. you're up. Alright, so it'll, uh, it's got two attacks, right? Yep. 
These two, 12 and 15. You hit the first time. All right, what's its damage? 2d6 plus 5. And you hit the second time. So just roll 4d6 plus 10. 46 plus 10? It's, he's dead. The, ter the spirit tears him apart. Oh. Blood splatters on Mother Finger's face. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Alright, wow. That's one way to do it. It's getting dark quickly. Um, so whose turn is it now? The, the other person's? Whose turn is it now? It is your turn. All right, he's going to uh, walk over and uh, pick up that club. And he's going to, you know, whack, you know, slap in his palm a couple times, looking at the uh, the woman. He's going to give her a chance to uh, to surrender. She is she is growling angrily, and you can see like the super on all these people. You can see sort of like the superimposed alien face. Sort of is there anything that he would see with astral perception? Um, you don't really see, nope. No magic. <clears throat> Alright, um... I'm just gonna shake his head and, uh, and have at it with the club. Uh, he's Can gonna do go a there? rage. Yeah, he's gonna do a, he's gonna go there and then, uh... Pick up the club. So you went one, two, and then you can take a step here. For three. Can you hop up on the table and then like hit her on the top of the uh, skull cap? That is a rug. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'll just wait. That's a spirit hotel. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'll take another. He'll you know get up close and then um, use his other two actions to rage attacker. Okay, go for it. One, two, So we'll say that gets, you like, swing it at her and then get stuck in, like, the rug. <laughs> it's a very deep, very flush rug. Crack in the stone. Uh, I only have Frenzy left. Can I burn a Frenzy for that? Uh, for no, a because it's an attack. Because Frenzy can only be attacks. Alright, so he'll let go of the club and then uh, rage attack, punch her in the mouth. 